California making a bold move, planning to ban the sale of new gas-powered cars by 2035. Woo! Officials in California set to ban the sale of new gasoline cars by 2035 and set interim targets to phase the cars out. Vote tomorrow by the state's air regulators is a culmination of years of work after Governor Gavin Newsom signed an executive order in 2020 mandating that all vehicles sold in the state must be zero emission by the year 2035. And this rule will have an impact beyond California. So let's talk about the politics of it all with CNN senior political analyst Mr. Ron Brownstein live from Los Angeles. So he's hey, there. He lives there and he knows. Hey, Ron, thanks for joining. This is a huge yeah. deal, man. And, and it's going to have some major yes. political implications beyond California. Can you give us some perspective here? Yeah, first, this is following a long tradition. I mean, California has set the pace on clean air and in particular, clean vehicle standards for over 50 years. The first tailpipe emissions in the 60s, the catalytic converter in the 70s, the first uh, carbon emission standards uh, in the early 2000s. Uh, California has been consistently ahead of the other states and the federal government. In fact, the Clean Air Act back in 1970 uh, acknowledged California's role by providing it uniquely among the states the authority to set its own rules. And a few years later, they allowed other states to follow those rules. So there are about a dozen, 13 blue states that generally follow what California uh, does uh, in, in the clean clean air and clean vehicle uh, arena. So what, what's happening here is, is a potentially enormous kind of game changer pointing in the same direction as Biden, who is probably going to come out with EPA regulations that push the auto companies in this direction. The auto companies, GM and uh, Ford, say they're already moving with significant investments in this direction. California and the states that usually follow its regulations account for one third of the U.S. Uh, auto market. Um, auto sales. So it is entirely possible that as other states follow, this is really going to accelerate the transition, which will translate, by the way, into a lot of manufacturing jobs in many of the Midwestern states that have suffered the most from deindustrialization over the last generation. So, Ron, California is making these uber progressive moves, uh, like starting the timer on banning gas fuel cars. Yeah. But then you have states like Texas, right, pushing further to the right on key issues like abortion. I mean, it's more like two different countries than two different states. Yeah, look, I mean, well, I think what we're seeing is the most dramatic, broad divergence between the states really since before the Civil War. Obviously, the Jim Crow era from, Jim, from uh, Plessy versus Ferguson in 1896 till the Civil Rights Act in 64 was an enormous divergence between the states that had segregation and those that didn't. But that was only about a dozen states, right? This is essentially half the states, the red states, are moving uh, in a very systematic way to undo, as we talked about before, the rights revolution of the past six decades, which is generally seen uh, more rights be nationalized and the ability of states to constrain those rights, whether it's abortion or interracial marriage or contraception, reduced. Now you have states like Texas and Florida and a whole bunch of others rolling back abortion rights, LGBTQ rights, voting rights, banning books, censoring classrooms. Blue states are going in the opposite direction. And it's not just on the rights front. I mean, you know, we're talking about how blue states are moving uh, to more aggressively confront the challenge of climate change.